And the city of Austin is looking into fixing high home prices and rising rent. The average home going for $530,000. The average rent rate around $1,500 a month. Candy Rodriguez spoke with some locals who say they simply couldn't afford to live here any longer. Good morning, Candy. Yeah, Amanda Sally, good morning. And because of that reason, the two people I'm about to introduce you to had to move away, but they're not alone. Several have had to do the same, and others are in the process of leaving Austin. And our pieces are ready. Waco native Carissa McAtee never imagined she would find herself back in her hometown. I grew up here and never. <laughs> <laughs> the jewelry creator first moved to Austin about a decade ago to pursue her creative dreams. I moved for my radio job. But the rise in housing cost in the state's capital city would drive her north, an issue worsened once coupled with the pandemic. And so we just had our handmade business, which to me was super, um, we, like we just, there was no way it was going to work. That's when she and her family decided to leave. McAtee is not the only one. Brian Talbot and his family also had to find a new home. I mean, it, it made us really sad to move out of Austin and move out of this area that we've you know, made our entire adult life and start our family with. But it, it just is what it is. We got to do what's best for our family, you know? The public school teacher moved to Leander. Today, Austin City Council will look at policies and programs that promote the development and preservation of affordable housing. Things like making changes to zoning areas to allow for accessory dwelling units or ADUs. Think of a backyard cottage, a garage apartment, or pool house. They're also looking at lifting restrictions surrounding those AUDs. Uh, we're going to have to be doing a thousand different things, and no one, two, three, ten things are going to deliver the, the solution. For her Austin friends, Mac McAtee just hopes there's some relief on the way soon. There's so many people that that are struggling to make ends meet, and I, I just don't know how I don't know how they're doing it. But it makes me very very sad to see so many people. McAtee continues to travel every weekend to South Congress from Waco to set up shop and sell her jewelry. Council will also hear a resolution that could amend city code to create what they're calling a voluntary housing incentive program that would allow residential housing in areas normally zoned for commercial buildings. Sally. All right, let's see if that works. Candy, thank you.